Hey, what is going on, guys? So it's been a pretty, pretty busy weekend, I imagine, for everybody. Uh, so we had Toy Fair over the weekend, and we had Black Panther released on Friday. So I saw it Friday morning. That was an amazing movie. Uh, Saturday, I went to Frankenstein's, and Sunday we had a toy show down here in San Diego. So I was able to get a lot of stuff over the weekend, and I saw Black Panther twice. So I had a lot of fun. <laughs> um, but at the Toy Fair show in New York, they revealed a lot of stuff, and I'm just now having time to sit down and actually take a look at all of it. So I wanted to make a quick video and let you guys know my thoughts on the new Mezco stuff. I also want to go over some of the Bandai stuff they revealed, so let's go ahead and just dive into it. Alright, so first up, we got this Mezco Cable. Um, I'm pretty excited about this Cable. I'm Cable's my favorite character of all time. Like I said before, I love time travel and I love the fact that he's Phoenix's son and Cyclops' son. So he's one of my favorite characters. Um, I'm excited about this figure. The design though, I don't know, um, I don't know a single comic where this design came from. So they are absolutely taking their own liberties with this figure. I do think the head sculpt looks amazing. The arm looks kind of funny to me, but I do like all the gear that he comes with. And I mean, we're gonna be able to head swap him and stuff. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about this figure. I like the blue on him. I think I'm probably gonna do some, um, some dry brushing on him. Probably put more silver. This figure kind of looks like he needs a little yellow, but I am happy with it. Um, let's just go ahead and move on. All right, so next up we have Cyclops. Now, I'm pretty excited about this figure. I don't know exactly how I feel about it though. I do like the straps and everything. I do like the fact that it's the traditional 90s X-Men. But again, how Mezco's kind of going on their own design. I've never seen him with those X's. And I mean, they went for the 90s Jim Lee Cyclops, so I don't know why they would divert from that. But I mean, it's a pretty cool figure. I'm excited about all those effects he comes with. I'm excited about the accessories. And I will most likely definitely be picking up this Cyclops. All right, the next reveal was Blade. Now, I'm excited about this figure because it looks really, really good. The leather jacket with the red interior, that's going to be really badass. And then he has those um, accessories, the three the three spikes and the uh, little boomerang thing. <laughs> The sword looks really good, the accessories look great, and the costume is going to be real simple. Uh, I do hope the alternate heads look really good. Um, I'm excited about this figure. I'm a big Blade fan, so I do wish it looked a little more like Wesley Snipes. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's a cool figure. I'm excited about getting this one. Uh, it's going to be really cool. It'll be a really cool figure to kit bash too, so I'm excited about this one. And the next reveal that I saw was the Nightmare Batman by Mezco. Now, I don't know what to think about this figure because I know that the leather looks way too big in that jacket, but he might look good without the jacket where it's just Batman on top and then the pants on the bottom. Now, I would really like that look. Um, I'm really interested to see how this figure looks without the jacket, but then again, it looks like he can't take off the jacket because of the, um, the leather in his gloves. It looks like it's overgoing the jacket, so I don't think it's going to be removable. Other than that, I think this figure looks too bulky. Um, the, I have the Mafex one, and it's, it's a great figure. I'm happy with it. But this one looks a little too bulky, in my opinion. Next up, we have the Joker. Now, this Joker, I think, is really cool. He looks like he's like a punk rock masochist Joker. It's really cool, in my opinion. I really like the detail in his pants. They look really uh, punk. I can't really tell if they're checkered or not. But it's a really cool color. I like the boots. That's really cool. I like the straps on the side, the belt. The overcoat, the purple shirt underneath looks great. His arms look sick. The gloves, his face, the hair. I really like this Joker, and I'm not the biggest Joker fan. So I will definitely be picking up this figure. You know what sucks, though, is Me Me Mafex, no, Mezco. Yeah, Mezco doesn't make them double jointed. You can tell right there that he's single jointed. And that kind of kills me because the Spock figure came like that, too. And for the price these are these things should have amazing amazing articulation so that's kind of a letdown but i'm excited about this joker and i will definitely be picking it up <laughs> next up we have the toy fair exclusive batman now i'm pretty ex upset about this one because this figure looks fucking badass and i cannot get it um the markup on this guy is probably gonna be around 300 bucks 
it was one per customer at the con this guy looks amazing it looks so much better than the one that we're, they're releasing on its own so i'm i'm upset that i can't get this figure i already know that i can't maybe i'll enter a raffle but uh, this figure looks really amazing uh next up i got the daredevil right here i don't know what they were thinking of this daredevil i mean they're like what three years late on the netflix series and i don't really see this version of daredevil being that desired so um nice one mezco <laughs> it, like bug said if i do get it it's just gonna be to customize it just to mess around just to have a goon in the background that's pretty much all that guy's gonna be used for next up we got the ragnarok hulk uh this figure looks amazing he's got that fresh cut um i'm excited about this figure i i do want to get it depending on the price tag I, if it's over 120 i might not be able to get it if it's 100 or less i'll be able to get it but uh this figure looks amazing i just got the marvel selects and i really really do want this figure when it comes out it is literally the 112 scale hot toy version of thor ragnarok hulk gladiator hulk next up we got black panther and this figure is cool looks sick um i won't be picking it up I, I, I don't think I'll ever be picking up any of those full suited figures like this. Um, I did like the Black Panther movie, but I don't think I like these Mezco figures enough to pick Black Panther up just for that costume like that. I just can't do it. Next up, we got Hela from Thor Ragnarok. Um, I don't know why they made this figure. Like, who, who asked for this? <laughs> But uh, like I just said, I, I can't really justify buying those full bodied, those full bodied bodies or fully clothed bodies just because, you know, they'll look funny and they're not articulated the best. So this figure will be a pass for me. Next up, they revealed the Netflix Punisher. Now, I think this one's kind of cool because we'll be able to customize it, but um, I don't really see anybody wanting this Netflix Punisher. I mean, if Hot Toys put it out, that should be the only one anybody wants. There is the Marvel Legend, and it's a cool one, but again, we just started customizing it, so I see this one just being customized. And here's one I'm excited about, um, John Wick. Uh, it's a pretty cool figure, but, um, you know, I, j I just hope this figure lasts. Like I said, I don't like the full body, full suited figures like that, but uh, this is John Wick, so it should be a really cool one. But 80 bucks for a head sculpt <laughs> and a Ken body. Um... I don't know if I'll be getting this one, but I am excited about it. And we're getting a Jon Stewart Green Lantern. That's pretty cool. Um, those accessories look really cool, and the suit looks really, really cool. But like I said, I don't know about those full body, full body characters, because you can tell in this picture alone, it's not too articulated, and that's kind of a killer for me. But it's really cool that they're making this figure. And last but not least, I'm still waiting for this damn Ash to be released. Um, I, I think they announced it in like 2016, and they're saying it's going to come out this summer, so I'm still looking forward to this figure, I still want it, uh, I still want the zombies, so come on Mezco, release them already. <laughs> uh, so that's going to be it for the Mezco stuff, but let's go ahead and move on to some Bandai stuff that they um, revealed. Alright, so first up, we're finally getting a reissue of Frieza. Um, I did have the Daytong version of this figure, and even that figure was like 45 bucks. And I think the regular version of this figure is like 100 something. So I'm super stoked and excited about them re releasing this figure. Next up, Master, Master Roshi. Hell yeah, man. I'm excited about this figure. Um, I hope that they get later on, they give us a buff ass version of him where he's all yoked out. <laughs> That would be super cool, but this one's going to be really cool to have next to the Dragon Ball Goku, the kid version of him. So, looking forward to this figure coming out. Next up, they revealed a Majin Buu, the Fat Majin Buu, and I'm pretty excited about this figure. Um, I'm a fan of Fat Buu, so, hell yeah, thanks, thanks Bandai. <laughs> um, it's a pretty cool figure, I like the design, the head came out really good, the belly looks pretty pink and happy, so, pretty good. Nice job, Bandai. And last but not least, we're finally getting another issued Goku out where he has the symbol on his chest and his back. That's really cool, but I feel bad for anybody who spent like 500 bucks on that uh, Comic-Con exclusive Goku because it's the exact same thing. Um, I'm excited about getting this figure, so I'll finally be able to have this version without spending over hundreds of dollars for it. <laughs> and that's going to be it for my Dragon Ball Z Bandai stuff. So good stuff coming out. 
one other thing I <clears throat> one other thing I did see from Bandai was this Captain America and War Machine. Um, I just recently got the Iron Man at Barnes and Nobles for like 25 bucks, so I'm pretty excited about these two coming out. Um, I don't think I'll pick them up right away, but I will pick them up if they're discounted at any point. Oh yeah, Bandai's also releasing the Pacific Rim 2 figures, which I'm pretty excited about. This one looks amazing. I did have a picture of the other one, but I can't find it at the moment. So, uh, sorry about that. But this figure does look amazing, and I am excited about that movie coming out. I am a big fan of Pacific Rim, so the, I'm looking forward to these figures being released. And last but not least, my favorite reveal had to be the Revel Tech Yamaguchi Batman. This figure looks amazing in my opinion. If you didn't say wow when you first saw this figure, you're kidding yourself. Um, the cape looks freaking amazing. Yes, it might be difficult to pose around and stuff like that, but we'll have to see when this figure comes out. Um, I don't have the picture of the back, but I do remember it being like six pegs in the back for the, for the uh, cape. Um, I really hope the cape doesn't hinder too much of his articulation. Um, of course it's not because it's the Yamaguchi figures. Um, but man, this figure looks amazing. I am stoked about it. I am definitely going to pre-order like two of them. Um, do not miss out on this Batman. If you like any of those Revel Tech figures, Magneto, Wolverine, Spider-Man, any of those, this guy is not going, is not going to disappoint. So I'm very excited about this figure being released. And with that being said, that's going to be the end of this video. Um, I hope you guys liked my thoughts and opinions of the Mezco reveals and Bandai stuff. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe, leave a comment, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.